Ah, I got sucked in again. Here we go. Trilobite part two. Let's build it up. Let's let's do something with this thing that we started. You know, that's the fun part. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's get some shading in these areas. And... See, I'm kind of coming down a strip here, so I leave. And then in here. And now I've got some kind of interesting thing going. There's some sand color in this, of course. So let's get to a sand. And <clears throat> let's give this kind of a overall dusting. Like, I don't know what that means till I do it. Um, just <laughs> get into the sand color. Eh. Yeah, let's just do a little dusting here. Yeah. So, now normally these would be on a couple layers, but that's okay. Now I want to put some highlights in, and I want those highlights to be broken in and stuff, so I'm going to go back to brush 8. <clears throat> We're going to make a small highlight uh, lime green. Let's do that. Like a pea green, I mean... Some kind of, you know, yellowy green that's pukey. <laughs> Let's see what we get with brush eight. Uh, a little more density. Even a little more density. We're still <clears throat> looking for that sweet spot. There we go. And now we're going to kind of break this up on one, right in the center of this. That textured highlight, see that? That's pretty sweet. And then we can come down the edge uh, in between each of these. So let's do some of that. This is totally randomness. And then maybe this edge and this outer edge. Because we're in a sea floor, and uh, we're going to go overall with this now as we build. See how we're building, creating something that's hidden. Okay, now let's get into some nicer highlights. Uh, let's go into brush one. Oh, let's go into brush six. It kind of makes funky stuff too, and we're going to go not too dense. Uh, do I like that highlight? I want more sandy color. So I'm going to go, let's see how this looks. And let's take off. You go to F5 and turn off. Here, whoop, F5. What am I hitting? F6. Oh, there we go. F5. Okay, there we go. Now, let's create some highlight up here. A little too much density, that's okay. It's the ocean floor. Now, I want to make this more random, so I want to turn off F5. Can you do that? Uh, not sure. All right. Say so you can do it, but it's there. We go, we're off. Well, we're on, anyways. So much for that. Let's put some highlight stuff in here as fast as we can. A little more opacity, kind of hit the tops of each uh, a little brighter and a little lighter. So, I'm gonna move towards the center. I'm going to come up here like this. Still a little too much. There we go. And there might be some out here. And some stuff here. And now, say I want to uh, shape the tips of all these. 
I'm going to go in here with a very small brush six and I'm going to come around the edge of these so maybe I want them to be a little more pointed or something to distinguish them from the, the background they really are that way kind of so you can kind of do like so you can really get into detail we, we won't in this second 10 minute segment but now let's put some highlights around the edge and we're going to go into 8 and we're going to pick a nice color and we're going to kind of work that on the edge yeah I'm going to open this brush up a little bit so it's not so fine We'll work some of it into there. And some on the sand itself, the, the ground of the ocean floor. Yeah. And maybe run some in here. Like that. Okay. That looks pretty cool. You'd have to um, get down and, and do some detail work in between with brush number one. Clean up some. Oh, get that out of there. Um, this. Sorry, the color's got to go over to black. There we go. Then to get some of that out of there, you can have some of these beat up segments and shape some of this. Uh, a little less density let's get that out of there and start configuring or shaping uh, the try the bite and I just hit the wrong button excuse me one second when I turn something off on the other screen okay we're good with that and now I want to let's see do some detail work here with the black so we kind of shape some of this a little more density and then I'm going to start getting into the creature itself you know have some cracks and fissures and stuff and so on the bottom is really darker. Let's do that. In this particular fossil. And of course, you got to make this. Oh, there's so many details to do, uh, which is fun. So I'm going to break this up into uh, a more defined shape right now. Now I'm going to kind of really shape some of this creature so that's what I start doing I start really knuckling down and defining the entity itself some cracks and stuff and Shaping some stuff there, and let's get into some nice white highlights, kind of um, defining these edges and stuff.